Hello everyone, this is Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on an Ever After High Raven Queen doll. I'm making her into one of my tattered fairies. And like I mentioned in some previous videos, I will be showing my dolls at the Megacon Tampa Bay, and at the time I'm making this video, that is in about a week. So for the final few fairies in this collection, I made them into a character with a fairy. For this one, I'm doing a doll from my favorite movie, The Wizard of Oz. So I'm making her to look similar to Dorothy Gale. This video will just be a face up, so if you're interested in knowing how I did the costume, you can check out my previous video of a purple fairy costume construction. For most of the tattered fairies, I did the construction of the costume in a similar way, so you can check that video out by either clicking on the iCard or in the description box below there should be a link. As usual, I started off with some Mr. Super Clear, about four coats, and then I go right into the eye shape with white and then the lash line and waterline below. I'm using a special mix of some pan pastels. I mixed some red and peach and white to make a sort of a, a more natural red color for the lip. So by this point, I'm doing a few more coats of the colors, just giving them a little bit more shape and refining them a little bit. And now I'm going in with the shading. So this is also a custom mix of some peach and brown colors to give some, uh, give a, a slightly darker skin tone than the doll itself and this helps with the expression. I'm using a Faber-Castell sharpenable eraser. I've been asked a couple times recently what kind of pencil sharpeners I use or how I keep my pencil sharp. That's a challenge for most of us customizers, I believe, because we really need to keep a really sharp point. I have trouble with this as well. I typically use a Prismacolor Scholar pencil sharpener. It works best for me, but if I like it because it collects the shavings, but what works even better is one of those like KUM, uh, just a plain pencil sharpener that has like the a fat hole and a regular size place to insert your pencil and that one seems to work best to keep it sharpened because you can watch what you're doing you don't have to twist too many times and lose a lot of your pencil and uh, the only downside of course is that it doesn't collect the shavings so I've been keeping one in just a little Tupperware container so I can use it that way. So I'll show that in a future video. That just tends to get the pencil the sharpest. It's just not as convenient as the, the ones that have the case for the shavings. I hope that helps or makes sense. So I'm giving her some highlights with a very light peach color on her forehead, nose, and chin. Of a pan, pan pastel in the light peach. I'm going around the eyes and giving her around the eyes and lips with a white pencil to give some highlight there. I'm using several different colors of brown for the eyes as well as a yellow highlight. And then as usual, once I'm happy with the look, I'll give her about four coats of Mr. Super Clear after I sign the back. And then I'll give her some Liquitex High Gloss Varnish for the eyes and lips and add some eyelashes. So this doll will be available for purchase at the Megacon in Tampa Bay, or Megacon in Tampa. It's called Megacon Tampa Bay. 
September 21st through 23rd of 2018. After that, all of the remaining fairies in my collection will be listed in my Etsy shop. The link to that is in the description box below. If you're also interested in any of the fairies, you can contact me via email at scariosities at gmail.com or message me on social media. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. If you are a supporter over on Patreon, thank you so much and you can see the slowed down version of this video now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone have a great day. Bye.